Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Dev, where today we'll be working on a special one-off project about breakfast burritos. That's right, the plan for today is quite simple. We'll be making a game about the delicious breakfast burrito. And as odd as that sounds, we will in fact include both win and lose conditions for said breakfast burrito game. And finally, we'll take some time to admire our game about breakfast burritos. That's the plan for today, so let's get to the coding. First up, we needed a breakfast burrito sprite. And considering this is the star of our game, we want to make sure it looks good. A good breakfast burrito is key. In general, really. I mean, if you're going to go out of your way to indulge for breakfast, why not make it a breakfast burrito, right? Honestly, my favorite breakfast burrito has to be from, of all places, McDonald's. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was due to my taste palette being really weird. It could also simply be due to a lack of choices. I mean, there aren't very many places around where I live that serve a breakfast burrito. And I've tried the Taco Bell breakfast burrito, but, you know, much like everything from Taco Bell, it tastes just like... Oh, Taco Bell. And really, most other fast food places tend to include sauces that really overpower the fact that a person is trying to just enjoy a simple burrito. But it should be noted that while many places overcompensate with flavors, it's also possible to produce a breakfast burrito with far too little flavor. I've had some that simply toss eggs, sausage, and cheese into a tortilla, which often lacks any flavor at all. Like, those types of burritos end up relying too heavily on the sausage and or egg to carry the taste. But I mean, it's hard to really blame them. From personal experience, my homemade attempts at a breakfast burrito have also ended up in disappointment, either due to an extreme lack of flavor or, you know, cooking skills. But it kind of makes sense that a homemade breakfast burrito would be disappointing. I mean, people like to say that cooking at home is always better, that it tastes better and is better for you. But I mean, come on, let's be real. If I'm deciding to eat a burrito for breakfast, <laughs> healthy is not my first priority. So in other words, if you believe that, share your secrets to a good, cheap, homemade burrito with the rest of the class, or just leave me to my unhealthy choices. Simply put, for me, something about the McDonald's breakfast burrito just hits the right spot. The flavor exists, but it isn't too distracting. The serving size is also appreciated. Two small burritos instead of one hulking mass. Considering I've decided to go the route of a burrito for breakfast, yes please. Honestly, it makes the eventual guilt of donning all that greasy goodness a little less painful. Quite frankly, I wish there existed a universe where eating a breakfast burrito every morning wouldn't lead to obesity or a heart attack before the age of 40. And perhaps this game will unlock the missing piece needed to uncover such majesty. All we need is to add this sprite to the game, add a few extra bells and whistles, and... Well, that didn't unlock the path to a breakfast burrito utopia like we had hoped, but it... But, well, it looks pretty. And look at that delicious breakfast burrito in all its delicious breakfast burrito goodness. Soak it in. Soak in all that greasy goodness as we come to the end of today's epic episode of Let's Dev. Also, there really is no win or loss conditions when it comes to a breakfast burrito. You always win with a breakfast burrito. And the only loss is the fact that at some point you come to the end of eating a delicious breakfast burrito. So with that said, leave a like if you enjoyed the episode, subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and be sure to leave your thoughts on breakfast burritos in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, grab yourself a breakfast burrito, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.